In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can install and use the Grammarly extension within Microsoft's Edge browser. Or if you prefer to use Grammarly as a standalone application, I'll show you how you can install the app. Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we are in my Microsoft Edge browser and to install any extension, we need to click on the three dots ellipsis in the top right corner of the window. And from the menu, we need to select extensions. It can be a bit confusing, but ignore the search box on the left here, which is for searching extensions we already have installed. To find and install new extensions, we need to click on the blue button, get extensions for Microsoft Edge. Now we can type in Grammarly and you'll see it appears as the second option in the list. Click on get and then choose add extension and it will take a few seconds for the extension to download and install. Once installed, you'll see the Grammarly icon displayed in the top right corner of the screen and we're prompted to either create a Grammarly account or if you already have a Grammarly account, you can simply click on log in. I don't have an account, so I'll start the sign up process by adding my details and clicking sign up. Grammarly then asks three questions to identify how we intend to use the application. Most of my writing will be work, so I'll choose work. I want to help, I want help with grammar and spelling, and I'll skip the last question by choosing not sure. We're now given the option to subscribe to Grammarly Premium or continue creating our free account. I want to continue with the free account, so I'll click continue to Grammarly. Okay, and here we are in the application within our Edge browser. You have an option to take a quick tour of the interface, which I'll skip for now, and then Grammarly presents us with a demonstration document that highlights all of the application's features, such as identifying spelling and punctuation mistakes and that sort of thing. To create a new document, simply click on the Grammarly icon on the left side of the window. Here we're taken to our home page, which will show you all the documents you've previously created and we have the option to create a new document by clicking on new. And here we're back in the editor where we can start typing our new document. So I'll give it the title new document and say this is a test. Rather than having to go into the home page every time you want to create a new document, we can also just click on the Grammarly icon in the top right corner of the window and choose new document from the menu, which will take us directly into a new editor window. You also have the option to download Grammarly as a standalone application without the need to use your Edge browser. To do this, simply go back to the home screen and you'll see a link to install the Grammarly application, or if you don't see it there, you'll find the download link in the apps menu. I'll click on the link to start the installation process. Whilst it's doing that, just a word of caution, Whichever way you choose to access Grammarly, either through the browser or directly through the application, Grammarly requires an internet connection at all times. You can't use the application offline. Once installed, we're prompted to sign in for the first time we use the app, but Grammarly will then save our credentials for future use. Signing in requires opening a browser session. So since I'm already logged in in Edge, I'll choose Edge from the options, and then I'll give permission for Edge to open the Grammarly application. And there we are, we can now use the Grammarly app individually, or we can use Grammarly as an extension in our Microsoft Edge browser. And that's it, I hope you found the video useful. For more tips like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and you can check out my blog, facultyofapps.com. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.